Uh, one big thing, uh, Ali Shahabi, who's a well-known Saudi media commentator and, and author, he was also previously founder and head of the Arabia Foundation based here in D.C., um, currently a member of the advisory board for NEOM, uh, has written a nine-page essay called The Saudi Succession and the Sociocultural Religious Reforms of Mohammed bin Salman. It was published by the Hoover Institution. Uh, and it's worth a read. It's a really interesting take. Uh, we don't have time to summarize it here, but Shahabi's premise is, is this. Uh, he says a strong case can be made that what has taken place in Saudi Arabia since the appointment of Mohammed bin Salman as count, crown prince in 2017 is two back-to-back -back revolutions. One is a blundus revision of the tradi traditional royal generational succession. This is something we've talked about when we, when we discuss King Salman and the, his extraordinarily pivotal role. Uh, and the other is neutralizing the clerical establishment, which had been empowered to dominate culture, education, and the legal establishment, as well as heavily influenced the media and public discourse. And this is Shahabi, uh, thus impacting the practice of Islam on both a local and even a global scale, a process similar to marginalizing the influence of the Catholic Church that took Europeans hundreds of years in religious wars to achieve. So uh, in the piece, and like, like I said, it's nine pages long, um, Shahabi elaborates on both these points, and he also addresses uh, criticism of the government, um, of the coercion that the government brought to bear to achieve both these goals. Um, and Shahabi, you know, is seen as an, in an interesting position, well connected, uh, but he has tempted, attempted to sort of be an informed explainer, quote unquote, to the West about Saudi Arabia, something we are very familiar with here at the 966, but I uh, wanted to bring this to, to viewers and listeners' attention. It's, it's an informative, interesting read and, and well recommended, in my opinion. It, it was really good. Um, Shahibi was with the Arabia Foundation here, and they've since shuttered their doors, but he still writes and is very influential on Twitter and social media platforms. The piece is awesome. Um, I'm glad you made that your one big thing this week. Just It's it's worth a read. Yeah, is let it, me... I'm sorry. Please. sorry no, no, please. Um, David Rundell, who is going to be our special guest uh, in February, and looking forward to talking with David, mm -hmm. has written a book, Vision of Mirage, Saudi Arabia at the Crossroads, which is easily the best primer on Saudi Arabia that one can read. It really gives you an understanding of the foundations uh, of the country, uh, the current changes, and, and, and it's really a true, I w would, couldn't recommend it more. And I look forward to talking with David. But he, in that book, he talks about balancing stakeholders in Saudi Arabia, and, and he, he names five of them. He names the tribes, the clergy, the merchants, the technocrats, and the royal family. And, and not to be too specific, but you know, if you're if you're listening to Shahabi, Shahabi is saying that uh, you know MBS and King Salman, un, under the guidance or at least the authority of King Salman, has redirected two of those five balancing stakeholders. Basically, revised the whole. A contract and the relationship uh, within the country. So uh, again, it's a it's an interesting read by Shahabi, and I'll be interested when we talk with David, what he thought what he thought of it. <laughs>